They've got themselves a two-point lead as we've just tipped things off there. The last time these two teams played, USA dominated, came out victorious. Puerto Rico, however, came out and got revenge against Dominican Republic. So you know they want to continue that here against Team USA. Down low, they're going to go ahead and call a timeout so they don't get called for three in the key. As you've got Dostix in the lineup this time around as well. She's trying to get okay. that uh, lineup, hey, and have a little switch around. And then I start seeing the yelling at the corner of my eye. This one just got started, fam. There's only been one score for each side. Have a look at the passion. I love the webcam. I love the players. That's why I'm so excited, particularly for the live final in Wimshubi. Bring it on. You're going to see uh, a lot of that passion, a lot of camaraderie, because there's a lot on the line. That prize pool, by the way, 50,000 euro. Not sure we mentioned that today. So much to play for. You want to talk about how much to play for and the talent that is in this matchup. Forget on the team. In this matchup, especially for USA, you've got five people on the roster that are currently playing. Out of those five, combined, they have six championships to their name. CB13 just got one. Johnny Red had one a couple of seasons ago. Champ Six as well, a.k.a. Daw Six. That boy Dimes. And, of course, Super C's who's playing the four. He's back-to-back -back champion. So a high, high-caliber team coming in for USA. But, of course, for Puerto Rico, you've got Killy, who was a 3v3 champion. You've got Jomar, who dominates no matter what game mode you have. He's won a couple of banners, won a $250,000 tournament as well. So great, great talent on the court that you're seeing for both teams. Certainly wouldn't want to just put the pin in this game at all. After that momentous victory, Puerto Rico might be dreaming of what else could be possible here today, let alone further down the line. And for USA, so still starting off their day in a way, a bit of momentum hard to get with different lineups and things changing around. And then some games that have maybe had an issue or two can all just be that mental side you'd expect them to deal with as professionals, but who knows? Could that be a little bit of a tipping point in favor? Oh. I wish that went for Puerto Rico. Jomar, wide open shot from the right hash. Not often do you see him miss that one, but he does there. A bit of a struggle fest, if you will, for Team USA and Puerto Rico for both squads offensively. Just a couple of shots to go down. Here sees, kicks it right back out to that boy, Dimes, as he misses that one. And it's Puerto Rico going the other way. Killy, pick and roll action, trying to find a little bit of space. Had the slip for a second, but Super Seas is there playing the contest and the slip. Jobar is able to dominate down low, gets the rebound and puts it right back. Finally, we get the uh, exclamation point in here after a few good plays. It's so good when you're commentating, hey, look right, this wonderful pass, a dribble move, and you just get lost in the moment, and we start to get some green beans. Thank you very much, right on cue. It's a bit deflating when you see the yes. brilliant IQ, and then no green at the end of it. Yeah, exactly. You kind of build it up, and then you get a clank. It's just not fun. Nobody likes that. <laughs> of course, you've got a couple of other stars on the Puerto Rico lineup that we haven't got a chance to go in and highlight just yet. Nice little move there. Gets the open shot, but he can't knock it down. And now it's United States that go to and take the lead with the jam. The last time these two teams played, it was a 22-point victory for United States. Just dominated mainly in the fourth quarter as they outscored Puerto Rico 19-6. to Chomar from the free throw line. Can't get it to drop. Couple of missed shots from him here tonight. One shout out to Alper in the chat real quick because he said this will be a game for the ages. It's been great to have you on the broadcast, friend. And I think that is looking like an accurate prediction. If people have just been joining and they're thinking USA are going to walk it, Puerto Rico are well up for the challenge today. No question about it. They're keeping it close, that's for sure. Matter of fact, we'll do a little recap of the pace that they're at versus the last time they played. That's about a one second on the clock. You gotta get it up, and he almost did. 
But that's going to be a shot clock violation as it did not go ahead and hit the rim off that shot attempt. And now is Puerto Rico's chance to go ahead and take the lead. Or go ahead and tie it up. Here's Killy bringing it up the court. Oh, reach in foul there. Seas thought he could have maybe gotten a steal as they did have a one to give. So they got a bit aggressive on the defensive end. A little bit of zone coming in from United States as Seas guarding Jomar, giving him enough space, daring that man to shoot. 10 seconds on the clock. Jomar looking to set a pick for Killy. Jomar, pick and pop. Jomar for the lead, and he misses once again. United States left that man open, but he couldn't hit an ocean right now. As it's the U.S. with ball and a two-point lead headed in to the second quarter. Uh, shooting in 2K24, friends, welcome. If you're having a bad quarter, you might need to just put it away. It sucks because it's a great play, isn't it? Absolutely left, as you said, wide, wide as the open. And yet, India, on the other side of it, I'm trying to look at the positives, man. I'm looking at the uh, two-sided things, if you will. Are you sitting off anyone who's missed like two or three shots like that? You know Jomar was already not feeling it from range. Do you start letting them have that and trusting that those shooting splits are going to go the way you want? You're out of your mind if you think I'm benching Jomar. No way, no <laughs> how. You go ahead and let that man shoot, try shoot or shoot. No, I don't blame you, though, but that is a question that you're going to ask the coach as a coach, right? Is, hey, oh, he tries to go ahead and jam that one, but gets denied as we are still waiting for either team to go ahead and cross double digits as T's. Got it to the left side. Back over up top to the right side is CB13. We'll get you an update and a scoreboard reflection of Argentina and Uruguay, but it's CB13. Sees with a long shot well inside. He's going to miss that one as well. We'd like uh, an update on my chair. I know you're not asking, but it did just break with that attempted slam from Droma. I um, got very excited and sort of sat up quickly, and the left arm has just fallen off. So, um, Thanks, Jomar. I need a new chair. You didn't even make the two. I feel like next time we get on camera, I need you to showcase that. Two of me is a three! Gets buried from Puerto Rico, and they take the lead. We're going to go ahead and jump games here real quick. As we've got Argentina taking on Uruguay. They were looking good. Now to open on the other screen, Uruguay starting to fight back a little bit. Argentina in the third, putting together a good run. And get there right at the end. 76 53. Well done, Argentina. Difficult to bounce back from that one point loss. They've done it remarkably well. And there's your score 76 to 53. Don't worry. We just wanted to show you the score. And now we're going to hop right back into this one because I know you're going to come with me and pitchforks and everything else. I know. I know, chat. As Joe Mark gets it back over to Killy. Killy trying to find some space. Right hash shot. Jomar with a big offensive board gets the jam to go. He said, I may not be able to knock down shots, but I can create off the offensive rebound. As the lead is now three for Puerto Rico. Dimes, he can shoot that one. You don't want to give him too much space. Back over up top to Johnny Red. We've got four of these teammates, or four of these players on Team USA currently playing that have been teammates in the championship run that Bucks Gaming had in season five. So the chemistry is definitely there on the offensive end and especially on the defensive end as Joe Barr gets positioning inside, gets called. He's going to be shooting too. I always feel like CB is very unassuming and I really liked that he got that ball in that last possession with all of three seconds remaining. Doesn't panic, finds the feed to seize who was equally poised, gets that space, no need to drive all the way to the rim, pull up, take you to little attention to detail, little moments like that that make a big difference. And the reason, alongside that chemistry, why Team USA is so hard to beat. It's definitely going to be a four quarters effort, no matter which team you are right now. Puerto Rico looks a lot more locked in, focused, and sharp. This time around for game day number two for the North America Regional Qualifiers. Don't forget, we talked about this at the start of the show, but if you're just joining us, from the North America Regional Qualifiers, the top three teams will move on 
to the finals. And then the first place team will automatically qualify to play in the finals. And the second place and third place will duke it out in a best of one. The winner of that will face the number one seed. I promise we've got visuals. We'll show that to you later on. You can also catch it on socials. But let's go ahead and jump games here real quick and show you what's going on around the North Americas as it's Brazil. 52-33. We got to show love to all the federations. If you want to continue catching the United States and Puerto Rico game, you can catch that on USA Basketball's Twitch stream. But then, of course, come back and hang out with us, right, mate? We don't want them to leave us forever. I was going to say, we're into the final two minutes, friends. We've just given Brazil the respect that they have earned. That will be top of their group. All those skill boosters Hook have shot. something to do with it. Have a little look. But Fent, they are number one. They won their clutch game. Least we can do is stay with them until the end here and celebrate one of the nations that, if it wasn't on everyone's radar, if they weren't high enough in those power rankings, you've heard it from Huncho, you've heard it from a lot in the chat, from the players themselves, it might be time to start talking about Brazil as favorites, as at least highly contended big dogs for those live finals in Sweden. They have done so well, and job not done, of course, with those finals. You're talking about India, maybe before then in that best of three regional contest. We've got the Argentina come back. I can't wait. It should be a lot of fun as you've got the Brazilian team just dominating offensively and defensively as well. Three of the five players have takeover. All of them that are activated are shooting it. Oh, that thought that was going to be a clean block, but the ref said you hit his left pinky, and that's going to be a foul. Now, I will say this. There's a lot of conversation on Twitter about who's the better team, who's the better players, and how the international talent goes unnoticed. And we have been saying it since day number one, Nate. All that goes out the window when we get to Sweden because that's where you truly get to dominate your opponent from no matter what region they are and show that you belong as a professional show that you can play at the highest level against the best of the best in the world and is it is now team takeover for the Brazilian squad bring on live action fan it's like there's no hiding anymore and i don't think anyone's like hiding per se but it's very easy to talk your talk it's very easy to get into the chat or wherever else and say yeah we're this quality we're that again i love the philippines confidence when you say you're on europe's level easy maybe uh you got to secure your ticket to sweden there is no hiding everyone's on the same connection same environment then you can prove it then maybe we can start talking facts there's a poll in the chat. Let me give you an update on the score. United States, 20. Puerto Rico, 20. Start of the second half. There's a poll about who's going to win. Make sure you vote. Let us know what the community is thinking as this one is pretty much wrapped up. 64-41. Venezuela making it look pretty as they knock down another one to make it a 20-point ball game. Will Brazil go to respond back or will they just hold on to it with a little bit of sportsmanship? Sportsmanship, sportsmanship, as that three doesn't go. <laughs> That's going to do it. Brazil continues to stay undefeated. 64-44, Venezuela on top. And as soon as we have the group standings for you, the skill boosters, all that good stuff available, we will showcase it to you. But for now, you go ahead and vote in the poll while you watch this intense matchup between the United States and Puerto Rico. One point lead for USA. The battle of the pros, the battle of the North Americas. Coming into tonight, it's the number three seed, Puerto Rico taking on the number one seed. We've already seen an upset early on where Puerto Rico beat Dominican Republic. And I know Puerto Ricans looking to do just that and take down the United States, give them their first loss of this EFIBA season two. Was uh, happy to report having it open on one of my many screens. Jomar with take has started greening, which is good to see. By the way, deep two, so it's not quite a tight ball game. Just calm down a little bit more, Nate. And our poll fam, you haven't got much longer to vote. It looks like it's roughly 50-50. It's about your fan, the community. Who's winning it? Puerto Rico in an upset. USA to stay undefeated. You let us know right now. Puerto Rico with a one-point lead. United States leading in the polls. CB13. Recently crowned champion with Warriors Gaming Squad. 
Gets it over to Johnny Red. Johnny's gonna get fouled. Man, I'm tense. I don't know about you. Like my body is actually physically tense right now in the uh, we're sort of blessed a little bit that some of those simultaneous games that I love jumping around and looking at, as I said, all the screens, all the monitors, we can lock in on this one a little bit more and after this round focus in on North America. It's gonna be wild if Puerto Rico can pull this off. I know we've got a long way to go, but how good have they been defensively? The rotations, the late hand up in the face, the sort of discipline not to jump, I'm loving it. You know, we've talked about Johnny Red and how impactful he's been on the offensive side as Dimes misses that one from the top of the key. And Johnny Red, we've seen him put up, what was it, 63 points against the Federation <laughs> that scored 61. So he single-handedly outscored them, but here tonight he struggled one for four, shooting 25% from the three-point line. Only three points for him, as I know he wants to get more involved. But for now, it's the United States that take back the lead. They did go in and win the Twitch poll. 60% of votes coming in for United States, 40% for Puerto Rico. But that's the poll. Look at the, the face cam in here. You know I'm all about him. Sorry, the disappointment there for Puerto Rico. Missing it on one end and then the wide open corner three. It's going to be nailed all day, every day. Every possession is just so intense right now for this team. They want this win. They know they're in the contest. They know they're so close. The young star, top of the key. Puerto Rico get their lead right back. Back and forth we go. Two minutes in the third quarter. CB13. Yes, that man did get paid. You see a play call there. Beautiful jam. You had the left corner open as well. But they decided to take the easy two. Shout out to Yena Gaming. I know he's getting involved with the Las Vegas squad. That's the right side. Wide open three, but he's going to go ahead and miss that one. Would have been huge as it would have been given a two-point lead. C is trying to get in position from the right side. Goes ahead and tries to go for the rebound. Puerto Rico has it. Is he going to dot the left side? No, he's going to go ahead and chuck that one up. And unfortunately, not the greatest shot selection. I'm sure that's not the animation they wanted. And now it's the United States coming back the other way. What are you seeing? You're that little bit closer seats, by the way. Lovely fake to get open. Doesn't go. Dimes O board. I'll finish this point in a moment. Uh -oh! If you uh -oh! let me. Yeah. See you later, friend. Seas had the ball. Pump fake. Defender goes flying out of bounds. And then he knocks down the three to extend the lead 34 to 30. Talk about momentum plays. It's what I was trying to get at those points all right that three counts the same as any other three in this game but also it doesn't that hurts fan have a look at the reaction top left of the screen the frustration it's almost a little embarrassing and from cease it's all we've come to expect all those rings all that quality known as an elite defender maybe not talked about enough as his poise offensively can do it on the offensive end, defensive end as well. Defensive player of the year, Super C's two-time champion. Dimes. Trying to find a little bit of open space. Gets it back over to CB13 for the reset. There comes a cut from Johnny as C's wraps up. Now they reset it back to their normal formation. Dimes trying to find an open man. Almost gets stolen away. There's Johnny Red. And there is another three as he doubles up his score. With that one, seven-point lead now for United States. Nate, they are starting to get going here late in the third quarter. Don't say I didn't try and tell you, fam, that uh, blocking foul is going to be some freebies at the line, a bit of pressure relief. I said, it's a three on the scoreboard. My count the same. It's going to feel different. You can see in the face cam. You can see in what we're seeing gameplay-wise. It has hurt. Maybe... Two seconds remaining. Who's got it? Johnny oh, Red Green! You can tell it, fam, if you watched enough NBA 2K. I don't care how early you're in 2K24. You sense momentum plays. You know the green animations, the releases from these players. USA, huge in the third. Way to go ahead and continue that momentum with about two minutes left to go in the second. The United States turned it up a notch. Johnny Red got involved, scored more points in those final two minutes than he did the rest of the game thus far. Seven-point lead for the U.S. There's Johnny. You see him with badge. So look for him to get a lot more involved and continue lighting it up. He can knock it down from the logo if you dare him to. But I wouldn't recommend it. 
Tried to take a fadeaway shot from the ref corner. Nothing there. Dimes is inside. Almost loses it. That's going to be a jump ball. 2.5 seconds left in the United States. If I can nerd out, tiny bit, jump ball. The players who aren't contesting it have a look to see who gets involved. There you go. You can win the tip. Doesn't mean you're getting that ball back. Not at all as Killy's got it now. Looking to cut the deficit down from seven. Joe Mark. Almost saw a cut from Gazuli, fakes it. A couple of fakes coming from the corner. What a beautiful shot there. Found the open space off the pick. Let's see if uh, CB can steady the ship a little bit. No, they're up by four. You want your star point guard to show maturity. Instead, takes that early end of the shot clock. What's Killy got for us in response? Yeah, he's got to be careful there. Good timeout, in my opinion, as he almost went out of bounds, and you already know how that goes for them. All greens, no whites. That's a Johnny Red saying. I'm curious who's behind the account. Is it a family member? Is it a mysterious friend, a stalker? Let us know. Yeah, really, if it's the last one, then you definitely need to let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, loose ball. United States has it. Johnny Red, bang! Greens, baby, in the chat and on your screen, the big momentum play, fam. A steal, we make it count. It's great timing, and it's great timing in terms of when you've activated your take. In response, you force a big shot. You're already scrambling back in defense, fam. You know US of A, you know how this goes. That's a great timeout again. This man was running to hug the fans. <laughs> he surely was. Johnny Red, the man had three points when we called him out. Now he is leading, he's the leading scorer out of everyone on that court right now with 12. Coming out hot, looking to continue that streak, not gonna be able to drop that one. The United States starting to come away with it just a little bit, and there's another steal, that boy dives. Not gonna go ahead and push it up the tempo, don't wanna risk a steal, gets it to Johnny Red. Trying to create a little bit of separation, sees with the cut, goes right back to the right side. Johnny Red, that's his man, CB13, who knocks down the shot. Johnny Red can knock it down. He can dish it out. Uh, it's frustrating defensively. That's not even off-ball movement. That's just a, a wide-open man who's just, just feet. I'll, I'll hit it just whenever you're ready. I'll knock down a nice, easy three. We'll see if Puerto Rico is able to go ahead and have a comeback in them. A dominating third quarter and so... I thought he was going to shoot that one. As Johnny Red says, <laughs> don't worry about it, buddy. I'll go ahead and shoot that rock any time of day. Uh, I don't know. It's like the Twitch poll, and I think that excellent start from Puerto Rico in here in the first. I don't want to get too reflective too early. I know this game's still alive. It felt like it had something special out there, of course, saying this will be one for the ages. It did have that about it. You can see the intensity. I keep talking about the face cams and whatnot. Feels like in that run at the end of the third, and it's not like it's a skill issue is what I'm trying to say. It's nothing about the ability to green or anything like that. It's decision making. That's all it is. We'll see what Johnny has in mind. Here comes Johnny, 52-40. The man is red hot, all greens, no whites. Johnny Red lighting it up here in the second half. And that's what we say in Dagger. We're saying it's close to being done. Friends, 12 point lead. That is not going. It's late. With take. Well played, USA. Once again, they find some consistency. They find a go to man. And he's got the hot hand. He's getting that ball every time. Johnny Red is not missing. No, he is not, and he goes ahead and comes away with the ball. He's got take. Is he going to try to shoot that one from the logo? You know he wants to. Will the defense let him? That's his teammate, Super C's on the right side. And it doesn't matter who you are on Team USA. You are nothing but butter from outside the arc. Look at that. 18-point lead. You wouldn't blame anyone in here if they just sort of joined in thinking it's been really one-sided. Maybe you just see... The box score, the overall score, social media, you're like, okay, classic clinical performance. This was on the line until about 15 seconds left in the third, and USA doing what they always do. They go ahead and come out strong to close games out. This game was so close. 
Johnny! This is that one. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take an assist. Uh, casual dime, just to yeah, give dimes no, two more. Good. Shout out Puerto Rico fan. Like, we're a bit deflated, and I'm sure the team is hurting right now. You can beat with USA for three quarters. It is no mean feat. They were looking good. They had the Twitch chat hyped. They had uh, me breaking my chair quite literally. Friends, that is a great effort. There's a lot of positives in there. The Johnny Red takeover. Almost literally. Getting the job done single-handedly. How many shots, how many field goals has he been responsible for? Having a look. My notes, I think it's the last seven where he's either assisted or scored them. So what can you do when an individual's that good in India? Smile and watch. And that's going to be it. It is 60 for United States, 40 for Puerto Rico. As 